Hello everyone, in this lesson I want to look at how we rationalize the numerator of an algebraic expression. Now usually uh, for simplification purposes we rationalize the denominator, but in some applications it's necessary to rationalize the numerator instead of the de denominator, and the concept is exactly the same. So if I wanted to, to make the numerator a rational number, if I wanted to get rid of the square root of 10 in the numerator, I would just multiply by the square root of 10 over the square root of 10. So that would give me 10 in the numerator, and I'd end up with the square root of 30x in the denominator. So notice that as I rationalize or clean up the numerator, get rid of the radical there, then it tends to mess up the denominator uh, more, uh, just like it did when we were rationalizing the denominator, it made the numerator a little more messy. Okay, so I can do the same thing with cube roots. If I have the uh, uh, cube root of 5 over the cube root of 4, I would want to think of uh, getting multiplying by something convenient that would get rid of the, the cube root in the, in the numerator. So let's go ahead and multiply by the cube root of 5 squared. Not just by 5, that would give me the cube root of 25, and that's not a perfect cube, but if I multiply by the cube root of 5 squared, then I will get the cube root of 5 cubed in the numerator, which is of course 5, and I'll get the cube root of 4 times 5 squared in the denominator. Okay, so notice here uh, you could think of 5 cubes 125 and the cube root of 125 is 5 or just the cube root and undoes a cube. I get 5 in the numerator and in the denominator I'm going to get the cube root of 100. 5 times or 4 times 25 is 100. And then you might think, well, are there any perfect cube factors in 100? No, you can see it right here. Here's the factorization, 4 times 5 squared, so I can't simplify that any further, and that would be my final result. All right, one more uh, example of this. If I have the cube root of 2a to the 4th over 7b, notice that there's a uh, already a perfect cube factor in 2a to the 4th, so let's first of all write this as a cubed times 2a in the numerator, over 7b, and then let's multiply by what I need to make that numerator be a perfect cube. So I already have a, a an a cubed, but now I've got this leftover a right here. So let's multiply by another a squared and by 2 squared. That'll give me a 2 cubed and an a cubed. And if I do it in the numerator, I'll have to do it in the denominator as well. All right. So this is going to give me in the numerator. I'm going to get the cube root of a cubed times 2 cubed, and then I'll have another a cubed. In the denominator, I'm going to get the cube root of uh, 7 times 4 times a squared times b. All right, now you can see there's no perfect cubes here in the denominator. Here I'm going to get uh, an, the 2, the cube root of 2 cubes 2, and then I'll have an a here and another a here. That'll make a squared and the cube root in the denominator of 28 a squared b. And again, there's no perfect cubes in 28, and so that's it. That will be my answer where I have rationalized this numerator, made the numerator be a rational number, no, no cube roots there. Okay.